Hey there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha, and in this video, let's create some programs using functions. First one is create a function discount that takes amount and discount percentage as input and returns the calculated amount. So we'll have a function with the name as discount, which takes two parameters amount and the discount percentage colon. And then I need to calculate the discounted amount. So the discounted amount will be equal to whatever the discount percentage divided by 100 into amount and amount minus the same. And I will say return discount amount simple as it is now i'm going to write amount equals to input which is going to be of type i mean it may be decimal so enter amount and then we can say enter discount percentage so I can say DP and then print calling the function discount passing in the amount and the discount percentage save and if I run I enter the amount thousand I enter discount percentage is five which gives me 950 because 5% 5 of 1000 will be 50. 1000 minus 50 gives you 950. A simple function. Now let's make it a bit complicated. And now the next program is we need to find if a number entered is a Smith number or not. Okay. Now what's a Smith number? You take a number. You find the sum of the digits. You take the number. You find the prime factors so one functionality is finding sum of digits other is to find the prime factors and then we have to sum the digits of the prime factors and in case the prime factor is not a single digit then we will have to sum up the individual individual digits of that factor and then once we add on and if this sum is equal to the sum of digits we say it is a prime number so we are going to create one function which is going to find the sum of digits. It will take a number and we'll have a variable sum of digits equal to 0. I'll say y num not equal to 0. <coughs> right? So say for example, my number is 85. Is 85 equal to 0? No. I want to get one digit. So I can say num mod 10, which basically gives me 5. I need to add this in the sum of digits. And then I need to divide. I will be doing floor division as I just need the quotient. So 85 divided by 10 will give me 8 is 8 equal to 0 no 8 mod 10 will give me the next digit 8 which i sum up in the sum of digits and then i again divide the num by 10 and then i just return the sum of digits so this is my first function which finds the sum of digits second will be to find the prime factors of the number and basically I can say sum of prime factors <coughs> okay now to find the prime factors we all know that uh, we, we continue dividing the number so say for example the number is 12 right so we start dividing this number by 2 12 divisible by 2 yes so 2 is one prime factor then the next number that we get 12 by 2 is 6 is 6 divisible by 2 yes 
the next prime factor is 2 because 6 is divisible by 2 then I divide 6 by 2 I get 3 is 3 divisible by 2 no so I got first prime factor 2 second prime factor 2 3 is not divisible by 2 I'll increment 2 to 3 is 3 divisible by 3 yes so I got the 3 prime factors 2 2 and 3 so you can see to find the prime factors first of all I'll require a variable which will start from 2 and I, I do this still so you can see lastly when 3 is divided by 3 the quotient that we get is 1 and this holds true for any number that you take you start dividing the number by 2 till the time the number is divisible by 2 after taking the quotient you continue dividing and then you basically increment that count from 2 to 3 you start divide, dividing the number by 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 until your number reaches 1 so basically you take a number 12 you divide this number by 2 is divisible yes we got 6 we think if this is divisible by 2 yes 2 3s are 6 is this divisible by 2 no is it divisible by 3 yes so 3 1s are 3 now if I take another number say for example 15 15 divisible by 2 no I increment 2 by 3 divisible by 3 yes I got 5 divisible by 3 no increment 3 to 4 divisible by 4 no increment 4 to 5 divisible by 5 yes I got the last value as 1 I am going to check whether my number is not equal to 1. If it is not, in that case, I will check if the num is divisible by the count. Okay. If the number is divisible, so 12 is divisible by 2, yes, I got first prime factor and I need to find, if you would see, I need to find the sum of prime factors, right? So you can see here 3, 3, 3, 37. So 3 plus 3 plus 3, but I also have to check if the prime factor is greater than 9 or not. So then I am going to write a condition. If your prime factor is greater than 9, then what, then what I need is I need to find the sum of digits of that particular number. So let me delete this so let's see 999 nine, nine. I'll get first 3 greater than 9 no 3 3 if not then I'm going to have a sum of prime factors equal to 0 okay. if C is greater than 9 only then I want the sum of digits otherwise if num mod c is 0, sum of prime factors will be equal to plus c. Okay. Now, if c is greater than 9, I can do one thing. If num mod c is 0, then I got the first prime factor which is c. And then here, I can add the prime factor but if the prime factor is greater than 9 I want to find the sum of digits of that so if it is 37 I need 3 plus 7 I already have the code for finding the sum of digits I can just call the function sum of digits passing in the prime factor value and this will be c this can be c and here then i can say pf equal to the sum of digits of c okay so see let's understand if the number is 85 right c is 0 c is 2 sum of prime factors is 0 num not equal to 1 true 85 mod 2 is 0 no okay let's take triple nine 
I mean, we have that number in hand in front of us. Now, triple nine nine not equal to one. Triple nine mod two is zero. No. If it is not, then we'll go in else and we will increment the value of c by one. Now c becomes three. Now, is still nine 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 not equal to one. Nine 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 mod three is zero. Yes. Your prime factor is three. Is it greater than nine? No. I just add the prime factor, which is three, to the sum. Right? It will not go in else. Now, what I need is once once if the number is divisible, I divide nine 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 by three, wherein I get three three three. So I need to write for that as well. So it will be num is equals to num floor division and c. So now nine 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 divided by three gives triple three. Not equal to one. Yes. Triple three mod three zero. Yes. P F is three. Greater than nine. No. It adds three. Now my num becomes three 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 divided by three gives you triple one. Triple one. Again it goes. Not equal to one. Triple one mod three zero. Yes. So prime factor is three. I add triple one divided by three will give you how much? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven not equal to one. No, it goes inside. Thirty-seven mod two is zero. No, thirty-seven mod three is zero. No, then it becomes four, five, six, seven goes on until it reaches thirty-seven. Now, when it reaches thirty-seven, thirty-seven mod thirty-seven is zero. Yes, P F is thirty-seven. Because my C is greater than nine, it finds the sum of digits of the value passed. It is thirty-seven. Three plus seven, that is ten, and that ten is added in the sum of prime factors. So done. And now I'll just take a number. And then here, once the loop is complete, I'll just say return the sum of prime factors. Now, I'll get sum of digits equal to number, right? Then I'll get sum of prime factors. Of the number, and then I can say if S O D equal to okay. Now I'll save. I'll erase this, and if I run, oops, sorry. Let me comment out the previous code. It is not a Smith number. Eighty-five. It is a Smith number. Okay. So you can see the advantage of writing functions here. I can directly use, reuse the function sum of digits. I don't have to rewrite the logic of finding the sum of digits. So this is how functions are very very important in any programming language to create modular applications where you can separate out logic in different blocks of code. That's all for this video. In the next video, let's deep dive into the various functionalities or various operations that you can do with strings. Till then, happy learning. Take care and bye bye.